Hi, I'm Alan, the CEO of La Lella Music, and I'm going to give you a tour of our new searchable hard drive. So, open up the drive. If you're a Mac user, go inside the Mac client folder. If you're a PC user, go inside that one. And uh, click on La Lella searchable hard drive, and uh, it'll open up our software. Once you're in, it'll take you to the multi tag browser where you can search according to a number of different fields, category, composer, featured instrument, you can scroll down to see all the different options, keywords, and mood. And uh, you can put together any combinations of search you like. Generally works best with one or two or maybe three keywords uh, added into the search. So let's try looking for alto sax tracks with a bright feeling to them and show results and a bunch of options will come up. You can uh, play the track that's selected up here by hitting the space bar and uh, if you pause, if you hit it again it'll pause. You can also just click on the waveform if you want. And uh, if you want, you can click on the little audio icon up here. And uh, when it's turned on, it'll automatically play results when you search. I'm going to turn it off for now, just so that I can show you around the software. Now, on the right is the metadata window. If you scroll down, you'll see there's all sorts of information on whatever track you have selected over here. And uh, you can do another search based on any of the terms in here. So say for instance you like the composer Murray Anderson. Click on Murray Anderson and you'll get all of his tracks in our catalog. Now you may know that in addition to all of our main mixes we also have a bunch of alternative mixtures of each track. If you want to alphabetize this list, click on track title and you'll see with this track, for instance, Ambient Dreams, there are three different alt mixes which you can also listen to if you would like. Now, you can go back into your tag browser at any point by clicking on the little baggage tag icon. You've still got a bright alto sax tracks listed. If you clear all, you can do another search if you want. You can also search just by going to the search bar up on the top left. Let's try searching for upbeat tracks with a piano written by Matt Mariano, who's one of my favorite composers in the catalog. And you'll see a bunch of options come up. Now, you can also lock the search by clicking on your little lock icon. If I do another search, it's going to search within the tracks that I already have listed. So if you type happy, you'll then find all the happy tracks from the previous search. If, however, you unlock and search according to Happy, you'll get all the Happy tracks in our catalog. In other words, it'll start searching from the get-go, from the beginning again. Now, once you've found a track you like, you can drag it onto your desktop, or you can also transfer it into any software you want, and you can set preferences if you go to your little cogs over here, you can set a sample rate, bit depth, file type, and it'll also show up under workstation. Right now it's set to no DAW or digital audio workstation, but I have iTunes open my, on my computer. So if I set iTunes as my preferred transfer software, when I transfer the tracks, it'll automatically drag them into iTunes. If you have Avid or Final Cut or any of uh, those editing software, uh, popular editing softwares, you can also automatically set it to transfer into there. One way to do that is you can, while you're browsing, you can drag tracks you like into a playlist. And you can either select the whole playlist or individual tracks. If you click on this little folder icon over there, it will automatically transfer into whatever software I have selected as my transfer preference, which in that case was iTunes, but you can select different digital audio workstations or editing software as well. 
Now you can create new playlists, new folders, uh, you can organize this however you want for different projects. What you can also do is just go to tracks you've played during your browsing session by clicking on the clock. You click there, the tracks we've played recently will show up. We can clear all of those tracks if we want by clicking on clear played files. We can also mark tracks as we go along by going to the mark menu. Let's mark that. And then if we go to the favorites folder, which I access by clicking on my little check mark over there, all the tracks which I've marked as favorites will show up there. So that's two ways you can keep track of the tracks you've listened to, either by listening to all the ones you've listened to recently, or by just listening to the ones that you've marked as favorites. Another way to browse our catalog is click on the rocket launcher. And you can go to albums if you want and scroll through listening to any album that takes your fancy. You can listen just to new releases if you want and just click on the album that you want to listen to. You can also go to flow and uh, click through one by one from the most recent album to our original albums. When you find an album that looks interesting to you, just click on it and you can listen to the different tracks in there. So I think I've covered most of the basics of our system. I hope you enjoy using it. And uh, please don't hesitate to drop us a line if you need some help or any direction. We are always here for you. And uh, hope you enjoy. Have a great day.